Yo, what is going on guys? My mom's coming back here to this game with another hype video. While recently browsing the internet like I always do, I came across this video by a sports scientist, a uh, researcher, who explained the hormone profiles of young people. And uh, that's really sparked an interesting my mind because I have a channel that talks about hype. So I want to see if any of this correlates to how, how to help you guys grow taller. After some research, I found the different ages that different hormones peak in the body. And that actually has a lot of correlation to how tall you can grow and when, when do you grow taller and when you stop growing, which I'll explain in this video. Now, I know at face value, this video might sound a little bit dumb. What, am I, what are you guys here for? Science? You know, you already learned science in school, right? But please bear with me. I think there's a lot of interesting stuff to be discussed about in this video, actually. And I will go into it, yeah, and hopefully help you guys grow taller. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe, turn on notification bell, like, comment, and share. And uh, oh, I guess I kind of repeated like twice, but oh well, um, let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, let's talk about all of the hormones involved. The hormones involved are human growth hormone, obviously, and testosterone, obviously, as well as estrogen, obviously. Three pretty obvious hormones involved in this process. <sighs> I thought, why else better to film this video outside, you know, getting a bit of sunlight, you know, setting a good example for you guys. While human growth hormone is the main one that's gonna help your bones grow taller, it's a main hormone that binds to your epiphyseal growth plate and juices it up so you grow to six foot. In the growth context, I'm not saying that they're bad hormones, but in the growing, growing taller context, unfortunately, estrogen and testosterone are the ones that bind to your growth plate receptors and facilitates its closure, which is not good, which is not what we want. But all of this is not to say for you to, you know, try to reduce your estrogen levels or testosterone levels with pharmacological methods. Because what that's gonna do is, that's gonna cause a lot of unwanted side effects, uh, such as, you know, declining heart health, declining brain health, because estrogen is really, really good for heart health and brain health. All right, I'm back inside now because it, it was just way too windy outside. Um, so yeah, where were we up to? Oh yes, growth, human growth hormone, testosterone and estrogen. So now you guys know that all, what these hormones do and their role in the growing taller process. Now, let's turn our attention to um, two interesting graphs that I found online. So, uh, first, first things first, this is a growth hormone graph, as you can see on the screen. So what it measures is the average growth hormone levels, levels in a 24 hour time span of different ages of people. And as you can see, there's a clear trend that, you know, at the, from ages 12 to uh, 16, it is a lot higher than other age groups, except nine to 10, which I don't know why. I think because that's the age when a lot of girls usually hit their puberty. So yeah, but overall like 13 to 15 is when your growth hormone is gonna peak. And that is going to be when you will grow the most. And now let's shift our attention to a testosterone estrogen graph. So as you can see on there, uh, T stands for testosterone, which is the black dots, and the hollow dots stands for E2 estradiol, which is a, a byproduct of aromatization of testosterone into estrogen. So the more estradiol you have, the more estrogen you have. Now, as you can see, both testosterone and estrogen peak at around uh, your mid 20s, which is around 25. And I think that this graph is just for, for guys, but for girls, uh, same thing, your estrogen peaks uh, around the same age. So we've had a look at the graphs, but what does the graphs mean? Well, first things first, because human growth hormone peaks at 13 to 15, that explains why everyone will most likely have the biggest growth spurts around that age, especially for all the guys. Secondly, the peak in the hormones of estrogen 
and testosterone explains why we eventually stop growing because these hormones, you know, bind to your growth plate receptors and the more hormones, the more of these hormones there are, your epiphyseal growth plate, which is probably more likely to be closed. And the age correlates to that as well. So, you know, everyone most likely stops growing around the age of 20 to 21. And that correlates to the testosterone and estrogen peak age. It's a little earlier. I think this is because that even at ages 20 to 21, you have enough of those hormones to close your epiphyseal growth plates. Now, we have all the science stuff out of the way, but what does this all mean when it comes to growing taller? First things first, I would like to propose a theory that your growth hormone does not peak at ages 13 to 15 for everyone. Instead, that's the age where most likely puberty will happen. And that's why there's a huge tendency of increased growth hormone around that age. So first things first, you need to be able to ident identify your puberty when it comes because those years are the most, most important years for you to grow taller. So what exactly can you do in those years for you to grow taller? Well, I have a whole bunch of other videos going into that. Um, you guys can check them out. They'll go into that in detail. But mainly to sum things up, if you want to grow taller, uh, maximize your pubertal growth spurts, you need to be able to sleep well for growth hormone, optimal growth hormone uh, secretion, exercise a lot, uh, boost your body's demand for growth and also eat a lot of nutritious food. Okay, that's growth hormone out of the way. But what does testosterone and estrogen mean? Well, they simply mean that if you want to grow taller, it's better for you to delay your puberty as long as you can. And this can be done by eating a lot of organic foods without synthetic hormones injected into your food. And that should slow down the process of puberty by a little bit. However, it must be said that this is just a lot of my, you know, assumptions and hypothesis. It is not evidence proved, so take it with a grain of salt. So overall, from this video, I would like for you guys to learn a few points. First things first, identify your puberty correctly. Um, I have other videos going into that. So if you want, check it out. It's really helpful. Um, second thing is try to, you know, eat more organic foods growing up. That will help. And third thing, thir third things third, I don't even know if that's a phrase or not, but do not try to suppress your testosterone and estrogen levels because these hormones are crucial for other bodily functions that you cannot live without. So yeah, I think these are the three main points of this video. This video is more to give you guys like a, you know, idea and framework, like a age framework when it comes to growing taller rather than actually helping you guys. But if you want, there's other video links um, below you can check out that will definitely help you grow taller. And that's all for today. If you guys liked the video, like I said earlier, please like, share, subscribe. That really helped me out and I'll make more videos like these. And yeah, I'll see you all next week. Peace.